Hey everybody, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today we look at something I think most people are going to be very surprised I'm reviewing. I'm reviewing episode 1 of Yuri on Ice. So, if you're not really, I want to say, understanding of what this is, you might have a lot of thoughts going in your head. You might think this is something really kind of not for straight people. This might be something that's more so aimed at a specific audience. You might be thinking um, you might not want to watch it at all because of just what the content is in terms of its ice skating. But, you know... If you're a fan of the Olympics like I am, I actually watch the Olympics. I watch the figure skating parts, both the uh, men and women. And I'll tell you right now, you know, there's something of a mastery of being able to go on thin roller skates and go and be able to just do the things they do in a certain amount of time and almost make it look like it's something just magical in many ways. And, you know, that's I'm never afraid to admit that because I think you have to have an open mind when it comes to a lot of different sports and athletic uh, competitions of that of that sort. So... You know, you're a nice. I, I kind of wanted just to see the first episode because I was curious. I wanted to see what this was about. Would this be something that I would not review further on? And I'll be honest with you, I'm both ways. Like, I, I want to review this, and at the same time, I'm not sure of the subject matter that if I am going to review it. But let's talk about what the show is all about. So this way, maybe if you are confused by it or have been trying to figure out what you've been thinking on it, here's what it is. So, Yuri and Ice is about a man named Yuri who is a figure skater who considers himself like the extra figure skater, the ones that they send in every so often to just hold up a place and then, you know, kind of just go on, on to skate and then thus if they win or lose, it's not a big deal. It's more so just meant to kind of take a lot of time to allow the bigger names to come up later on and kind of, you know, show some screen time of other people just besides the main big ones. Now, what this show does is that we feel for Yuri because he loses right away. Like, there is no getting around that. He is immediately lost the, the first competition, the big competition, the national one. And that kind of sucks because we see Yuri really upset by it. He calls his mother and, and cries to her and apologizes that he lost and stuff like that. And, you know, we also meet another Yuri who probably is going to be a, I, I say, potential competitor against him, probably a rival against him. Uh, so that's kind of the setup for the beginning, like, I want to say several minutes. This is the beginning of several minutes to kind of set up who these characters are. Now, you know, what this show looks like it's going to do is it looks like it's going to set up a kind of comedy slash, I, I want to say, competitive sports type show. You know, we see that from the scene right now. We see Yuri able to ice skate. You know, the thing is, is that we do have some time that goes past uh, after his failure at the, at the rink. And what's funny about that is that he does gain some weight, so he's now a little heavier set than he was when we first saw him. But he still has some great, great abilities. And what's funny about that is that is one thing that I want to praise this anime for very highly. I was wondering how they would do something that is so fast motion and so kind of visceral that, you know, usually when you see this on, you know, the Olympics and stuff like that, your mind is almost like you're lost for words because of how beautiful the dances look, both from the men and women's side. And surprisingly, they did a good job. You know, the animation looks very solid. It flows very nice. The art style doesn't suffer at all from what I saw. It doesn't, it, it's a very nice effect of motion, which I really give them credit. I was watching this and I was kind of blown away that I felt like I was watching something on TV. You know, is it as realistic as I think, you know, a regular competition? No, but it comes pretty damn close for an, an anime, essentially. Now, you know, Yuri is upset that he lost, and, you know, he's trying to show off this one girl that he used to like, but that is now married and all that. But what's funny is the series of events lead him where, when he's doing this routine, which is going after this, the idol he talks about, which is a man named Victor, who is, you know, this, the, the highlight, the one that is the best of the best in this world in ice skating. He goes up against him in his mind and is able to now copy his moves almost flawlessly. And so, you know, what's funny about that is a bunch of kids end up seeing Yuri do this, the, the, the routine, and end up making it viral. So, surprisingly, at the end, you can obviously get what happens where Victor comes in and says, I want to train you. Now, this is where I got a little bit of trepidation because what I saw was some very questionable moments from another dude on screen which i was like eh, i don't know if i want to watch that happening I, I hope that this anime doesn't do that i mean from what i know it's not going to be you know stuff like that i don't know really i don't really know who this is aimed for i, I think it's aimed for more mostly girls but i i want to say that it can't be aimed at guys i just don't know from the first episode because really there's nothing i want to say yaoi or yuri in here like i mean that's because i think a lot of people thought the title would make it like oh this is going to be that type of event it's actually yuri on ice because he literally is named yuri that's the whole point of it but i i do question some of the last scenes like so i i do wonder about that a little bit but honestly you know i kind of thought it was a good show i mean i i'm surprised by that i don't know 
I don't know if I'd review this every episode. You know, I want to see pretty pretty much. I want to see how it does in terms of views. Like, if you guys get this up there, hey, listen, I'll do more reviews for this. I, I don't care. Uh, it might not be always around this time because usually this is the time where I'm busiest. But uh, it will definitely come out around this time slot. So, you know, I'll, I'll be able to kind of put it out there. But um, if you guys and girls like this, please, hey, hit the like button, share the video, you know, subscribe to the channel, the whole nine. But overall... I have some I have some hope for this. This looks pretty good. You know, it has some great music. I didn't even talk about that. The music for the intro and outro were really well done. I really enjoyed them fully. And the music during the show, the show uses a very kind of classical approach to what figure skaters do in the real world setting. So I thought that was really cool. Overall, it's it seems like a cool anime. I'll definitely check it out if you guys want me to. But otherwise, if not, you know, hey, this would probably be a one-off review. Uh, I'll say if you are a girl, you're definitely going to love this because it does have some, you know, dudes on screen, of course, obviously. But um, if you're one of those people that does like the sports genre and you want something kind of different, not like, you know, baseball or football, and I mean football in the, in the sense of soccer, then you might want to check this out. Anyways, I will talk to you later. This is the last review I think I'm doing for the day because, honestly, I'm reviewed out. But I will talk to you later. Have a great, great day. Bye-bye, everyone.